Hello, enthusiastics, and to the WordPress, I'm going to show you today how to add a PayPal payment getaway into WordPress. Let's do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to have your WordPress event signed in, and you might be seeing the actual dashboard. We are now inside the actual dashboard of the actual WordPress, so what I wanted to do is to focus into the very first step, which is install and activate the PayPal plugin. So, um, this is going to be really important, guys, but in order to add plugins, you have to go directly to the last. Uh, right part into left part go into plugins and go for add new plugins to add plugins you need to have an actual basic plan or else in order to add plugins uh, totally for free uh, otherwise just won't let you in just in case you don't have an active plan inside of WordPress now here I'm gonna go here where it says search plugins and if you type PayPal, it's going to be showing you lots where you can just get started with. For example, accept donations with PayPal, the payment button for PayPal, the payment plugin for PayPal into WooCommerce, and so much more. Usually, WooCommerce is like the best play, the best way to install and activate a PayPal plugin. So you can configure stuff if you're selling elements directly inside an uh, online business, of course, inside the actual uh, WordPress. But if you just want to add the PayPal gaming getaway, I can of course try to tell you just to add the accept donation with the actual PayPal. Usually it's going to be uh, really, really easy just to add all of those elements. Just go directly into the actual section of the PayPal. So what you want to do is just to sign into your PayPal account. Let's get into activate and then you can see here into the left part that we have now the actual donation section. So this is the part where you can just get started with the actual setting of the actual PayPal. So here what you want to do is to configure the PayPal settings. So once your plugin is activated, what you want to do is to add your actual PayPal account. You want to enter your PayPal email address and select your preferred currency for transactions. So what you can do is to add a PayPal account and then later on add a default button style. So check out how it's going to be looking the button here. For example, let's go for big with credit cards, big with English only. You can select an image if you wanted to. And if the customer goes to PayPal and clicks to cancel the button, well, they go example here. Uh, what you wanted to do is to go for the return and add an optional button. But here, are you going to be focusing a lot in that? So you can just enter an email address of my PayPal account. So I'm going to add here my email really quick. Lastly, the other solution that I can tell you is that you can add an actual button. And here into this button, let's say, for example, that I add my new button. And what I wanted to do is to go and scroll all my way up. And here I change, of course, the about us for pay with PayPal. And here, what I wanted to do is to customize the actual element of my page here. Where this actual link is going to be sending me is going to be sending me, of course, into the pay that me, my actual account. So I go for linked and we're actually good to go. Now, the reason I, I'm actually doing this is because what I wanted to do is to tell people to open this into a link into your new tab. And of course, what I wanted to do is to go into publish and make sure this actually worked it. So uh, exactly here, the PayPal PayPal is going to be sending me directly into a link where people can just get started with go with send money. As you can see, it actually works the link because if you wanted to create a link, a button link with the actual uh, PayPal is going to be, of course, needed to having a little bit of knowledge with creating uh, and knowing a little bit of uh, about coding. So we wanted, don't want to focus a lot in that into coding. We wanted to do this as fast and easy as I can. That's the reason why I recommend you just to install an actual plugin or just to add an actual button where you can just pay with PayPal and automatically this is going to be sending them directly into your link of, of course, paying now with the actual PayPal. As a plus, I can totally recommend you to add the plugin WooCommerce. WooCommerce is going to be helping you to add stuff and of course, helping you to install more than just product with of course payment that not only is available with PayPal, but it's also striped. There is Payoneer and there's so much more. WooCommerce of course is for free depending on what is it currently account that you have here into WordPress. So make sure that you have one of them already been installed into your store so you can set it up them and automatically you can start by receiving money and choose of course the PayPal button so you can be receiving money in no time. So 
With that being said, we have not reached the debris and the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools here into uh, PayPal and more elements in, into WordPress. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, we can all see you into a brand new section of TechPress.